Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are live in Garland at the U Trip 2024 Spring Smash. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, James Tyson. Today's matchup, you're going to be watching Buzz NTX 2010 versus Waco Heat. Just in case you're curious, we do got a couple of girls out. One's playing volleyball, one other can't make it. Austin, I want to it. And we've got a couple, we've got one pickup player. We're playing with 11 today. Allison Coleman has graced us with her presence today. We'll line out your defense here for you here in a second. I just got the opposing team's lineup card. I'll write that down real quick. Line out your defense behind the dish is going to be number 10, Kenna. Over at third base, number 16, Natalie. Over at shortstop, number 13, Gabrielle. Number 7, Trinity. Over at second. Number 27, Cosette. Over at first. Number 6, Avery. Over at right. Locking down center, number 3, JC. And over left field, number 11, Laney. And your starting pitcher for this first pool game is number 80. She's wearing number 80 today, Allison Coleman. Format for these games, these are 75 minute finish the inning. Six run limit per half in pool and supposedly unlimited run in bracket at 75 minute finish the inning. All right, we are getting ready to play. Welcome Candace, Jennifer, Jim Welch, welcome to the stream. Thanks for hopping on. Looks like we got nine viewers on. Lead off hitter for Waco Heat, number 12 coming up in the box. And here we go, the start of the 2024 Spring Smash first game of the day on Saturday. What's up, brother? How you doing? And she's going to take start off with a strike one looking. David Welch, welcome, sir. Glad you can make it. We're missing you out here in your flip-flops. And just a little high. Gonna even up the count at one and one. There's one that's gonna be just a little bit outside to the top. Bringing the count now, two and one. Rusty Coleman, welcome, sir. Glad you can join us. And that'll be outside, number 12 for Waco. Getting ahead in the count now. Three balls and one strike. Jeremy Cole. And a swing and a miss. Strike two, bringing the count full now. Already got two coaches out on the infield. He's telling the other coach on the third base side on the bucket, you got to get out. Can't, don't have to go home, but can't stay here. And a swing and a miss, strike three, and that will be the first out of the half inning. Next batter up for Waco Heat, number 21, hitting in the two spot. Got a runner at nowhere, one out on her. So if you're wondering if you saw the post a couple days ago back on Wednesday, I did have the opportunity to announce our high school varsity team. And I guess did she go? And he says no, she did not. That was pretty close. It's going to be ball one. And I did a decent job. I'd say I was 85-90% uh, at that high school game on announcing. It was fun but it wasn't the fast pace, continue play-by-play -play talking that you're used to hearing. So I bumbled a little bit. It's kind of weird sitting in front of a microphone and not having to, uh, or not talking all the time constantly. And that's gonna be ball two outside, bringing the count now, two balls and one strike. 18 viewers on the stream, welcome. James Scott, sir, welcome. Gabby. Oh, 
Thank you all for hopping on. And there's strike two on the inside edge there, bringing the count even, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. I do got the mic inside my shirt a little bit. We do got winds coming out probably, what is it, 10.4 miles per hour from left field to right field. And there's one. Oh, it takes a bad hop. She's going to be safe at first. I think Allison tried to go after it. I'm not sure. Y'all got a better view than I do. I'm directly behind the umpire and the catcher. Didn't see where that ball went. They are a little bit more elevated than I am. 16 viewers on the stream I'm seeing now. Next batter, number 24, hitting in the third spot. Got a runner at first. Showing bunt. Good pitch right down the pipe there for strike one. Do me a favor, folks. Hit that, smash that like button, that heart button, that hug button any button you would like we highly appreciate it and it helps the facebook algorithms out hopefully you can hear me okay and just below the knees throw down and he gets she gets thrown out i don't know that was kind of close I don't know if I would have given that to her if I was out there. I'm just being honest. I call it like I see it. I think she was in there. But, hey, sometimes the calls go your way. Sometimes they don't. Good hit. Whoa, he's going to call a ball on that one. I think it's ball one, one strike. Yeah, one ball, one strike. Two outs now on her. No runners on And takes a little stab at it, fouls it over to the left side, strike two. One ball, two strikes, two outs. So today we'll be here all day. I can't remember the name of the complex off the top of my head. If anybody knows, throw it down in the chat for everybody. There's a little dribbler there. Allison's gonna fill it over to first for the third out. And that will do it. And we will head to the bottom of the first inning. One, two, three. Waco He goes down in order. 16 pitches. And her defense is all it took. No runs. One hit. No errors. None left on base. And we'll head to the bottom of the first inning. Now, technically, that might have been an error on Allison out there at first. Like I said, I didn't see it. Umpire and the catcher were in my way. All I did see the ball go, and then it popped left. Maybe she tried to get a glove on it. I am definitely going to have to uh, keep my head on a swivel for foul balls. Y'all may have just saw that one land in front of us in the dirt on the field. So, you should see the starting lineup, the top three coming out, and the player cards on the screen. Leading off, hitting in the one spot is number three, JC, followed up by number 13, Gabrielle, hitting in the second spot. In the number three spot is going to be number 10, the catcher, Kenna, hitting in the four spots, number six, Avery, hitting in the fifth spot, number 21, Mia. Hitting in the sixth spot, number five, Kendall. Rounding in the middle of the order, number 27, Cosette. Hitting in the seventh spot. Followed up by number seven, Trinity, in the eighth spot. Heading to the bottom of the order. Hitting in the ninth spot, number nine. In the ninth spot, number 11, Laney. Hitting in the tenth spot, number 80, Allison. And hitting in the eleventh spot, number 16, Natalie. So Alyssa is, I'm not sure where she's at, but she's got a volleyball tournament this weekend. I believe Collins is under the weather and can't make it this weekend. We wish her a quick recovery. So we're playing with 11. Okay, 
Teresa, welcome to the stream. So today we'll be at this field all day. We've got a 12, this 12-15 12, game. All right, apologize for the interruption there. We might get some data interruptions as I can tell now. We've never played at this field before. So I don't, I don't know the data service out here. But we'll take the quality. If it becomes too much of an issue and we get too many drops, stay with us, we'll, we'll be here. It'll come back. But we'll move down in resolution to a 720, 480 or something like that just so we don't get no interruptions. And she's gonna foul one off there, bring the count even one and one. But like I said, if we get too many interruptions, then we will uh, shift the settings down. Quality won't be as good, screen might be a little smaller, but um, we'll figure it out. Right now, that was the first one. And we're halfway through an inning. So if we don't get too many, we might be all right. That'll be high for ball two, bringing the count two and one on JC. Yes, Teresa, go Buzz. I believe there's three Buzz teams out here this weekend. Maybe four, I'm not sure, but I think it's just three. Ramos, ATX, and us. Oh, that was right to us here. JC gets a piece of it, fouls it right back. And I'm bringing the count one and one. All right, folks, you saw it. Wind direction, sir. Wind is coming out from the left field, left to right, pretty much evenly, maybe out more left field to uh, first base dugout, right around 10 and a half miles per hour. Oh, she's gonna pop her up on the infield. Shortstop catches it for out number two. Now batting, number 10, Tony Collins. All right, next batter, number 10, Kenna coming up in the box. Got two outs on her. No runners on. All right, we've already seen two data interruptions in the first inning. So maybe in between innings, we're going we're gonna to pump the resolution down. And, and so we, we can get less of that. And there's a ball one down inside on Kenna. Got two outs on her, but she don't care. So like right now, Rusty, no wind at all. Mild wind, it's not too bad. Oh, he's gonna call strike one down low inside, bringing the count even, one and one. Go Buzz from Florida, Deborah Matos. Welcome to the stream. And rips it over to left side. Foul ball. That's going to be strike two. Kenna getting behind the count now. One ball and two strikes. So if we get another interruption before the break, in between first and inning, we're going to adjust them settings just a little bit so we can uh, limit that. I know it's annoying. I've sat at home trying to watch ball games, and daily interruptions can be a pain in the butt. Outside, even up the count, two and two. Kenna trying to make something happen here and get on base. Two balls, two strikes for two outs. Oh, she hits a little meatball over second base and that will be the third out. So how's uh, Monty doing? All right, Buzz goes down. One, two, three, Wago Heat returns the favor. Both teams going down one, two, three fashion. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left on base. We'll head to the top of the second inning. Score is zero to zero. I hope they got the front 
Next hitter, she has 10 on the back of her shirt. She put the wrong jersey on, so uh, she's gonna change her uh, number after this bat. So 41 to yeah, 41 to uh, 92. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank gotcha. you. Yeah, because she's got a 10 on the back of her shirt right now. So, I got you. Yeah. Right. No worries. Good throw. All righty, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, top of the second inning, 0-0. Zero, zero. Defenses on both sides playing pretty good so far. Next batter is going to be technically number 92, hitting in the four spot for Waco Heat. Coach came over and informed me that she's got number 10 on her back, but she will be changing shirts, I guess, after this at-bat to number 92. So we'll go ahead and call her number 92. See it out. And here we go. And that's outside for ball one. I do got to appreciate this umpire. He is loud and vocal. If you don't see the play, you're going to hear the play. Wind picking up just a little bit. 10.4 miles per hour out of the left. There's one down the pipe there, even up the count, one and one. Let me know in the chat, chat. I've seen two on the stream, two data interruptions. How many have you seen? Is the quality okay? She's going to pop it over the right field, out of play. Foul ball for strike two, one ball and two strikes. So we got 20 viewers on the stream. Yeah, just let me know uh, the quality of the stream and how many data drops y'all have seen. I've technically seen two data drops, but the quality looks normal like we're always like we've always had and it'll be high for ball two bringing the count now even two and two 20 pitches now in the game thus far for number 80 allison out there in the circle for buzz solid quality fantastic rusty thank you steven minor welcome to the stream sir pew pew shots fired and there's a shot you there. Go. Oh, Gabrielle can't get a glove on it. And she's going to reach on an error. Unprecedented. Don't see too many of those coming out of shortstop from number 13 out there. But it happens. It happens to them all. All right, next batter, number 23, hitting in the five spot for Heat. Got a runner at first with no outs. See if they test out Kenna here. And that's going to be ball one down low. See if the runner at first has any kind of speed. Saw the coach kind of whisper in her ear or something. I don't know if they're going to test out Kenna and try to steal a base here. And she's going to get a piece of it and foul it off to the backstop fence for strike one. Wind picking up just a little bit. Might hear it in the microphone. We do apologize for that. I've been looking around for some uh, microphone covers. There's one at the knees, bringing the count. One ball and two strikes. Allison getting ahead in the count there. And she's going to find the gap over there, fire it out the left field, and that's going to fall down for a base hit. And Waco Heat now threatening. No outs. 
That's runners at first and second. Number 10 hidden in the sixth spot coming up. Got a runner in scoring position now. And a swing and a miss, strike one. Start this at bat off for number 10. Half ball, let's be there. And a swing and a miss, strike two. Allison getting ahead in the count here. 0 oh and 2. And a swing and a miss, strike three. Allison gets her second K of the game. Next batter is going to be number 22, hitting in the seventh spot. Got one out on her. Runners at first and second with one in scoring position. Good pitch right down the pipe there. Swing and a miss, strike one. And a uh, swing and a miss, strike two. Allison ahead in the count now. Pitch number 30 from her. Coach is calling Texas, calling Texas. They do work on certain defensive plays. He's got certain names for them. I will not divulge on what they are and what they mean on my public stream, naturally. And she's going to pop her up out of play behind us. She gets a piece of it. That's going to be a foul ball. Whoa, almost hitting Victoria over there. All right, no balls, two strikes. Number 22 behind the count. Runners at first and second with one out. And a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two outs now in the top of the second inning. Next batter is going to be number 33, hitting in the eighth spot. Got two outs on her. Runners at first and second still. It's a nice day for softball. Not too windy. Sun's out, mostly sunny. 71 degrees. And number 33. We'll take a ball one, a throw to the pitcher was errant. And that allows the runner from second to come all the way at home and Waco Heed is on the board, one to zero. And that is error number one on the buzz defense. I thought everything was routine and squared away and I look up and the ball's in the outfield so I'm not 100% sure I have to go back and look at the film on that one. But regardless, somebody made an error. Y'all saw it here first. There's one that goes down the pie, bring the count one and one. Runner still at first. Two outs. And he's going to call ball two, bringing the count now two and one. And a good pitch down the pipe there, bringing the count even two and two. Oh. 
Just a little low, bringing the count full now, three and two. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, runner first. Here comes the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that will do it. Three Ks in a row there. Four on the game thus far for number 80, Allison. Defense does allow a run to come across the board via error. Two errors in that inning. But they're only down by one, got plenty of game time. Game started at 12-18. These are 75 minute games, finish the inning. Six run limit per half. Brackets will move on the 75 minutes per inning, finish the inning, per inning. 75 minutes per game, finish the inning. And unlimited runs, supposedly. We'll see when it gets here. That was the last tournament that was supposed to be unlimited runs on bracket, but we found out in a game before ours that it was not. So we'll see how it goes today or this weekend. Bracket will be tomorrow. Whoa, see? <laughs> God's on my side. God's on my side. Almost got whacked by a ball. I've been waiting for it. I've been lucky so far. Through many years of softball, hundreds of games. All right, you'll see the player cards if you haven't already coming across the board. Leadoff hitter is going to be number six, Avery, in the four spot. Followed up by number 21, Mia, in the fifth. And number five, Kendall, hitting in the sixth spot. Score is one to zero, Waco Heat leading. And we'll see if uh, Bats can get something going here. Pool games do matter. If you don't like early mornings, you want to seed in the top four. I think seed number five's first game is around 10. Big swing and a miss from Avery there. Strike one. And she's gonna fire one deep out of left field and that is not gonna get caught. She's gonna go try to take second. She'll be in there with a stand-up double lead off. Left field misplayed that just a little bit. Got a glove on it. Got a piece of the glove on it. We good and corral it. Next batter up, number 21, Mia, coming up, no outs. She's hitting in the fifth spot. As a runner at second scoring position. And that'll be inside for ball one. Yeah, it'll be a little tricky for the outfielders on them balls that are getting out high. You'd be surprised what a 10, 11 mile per hour wind can do to a ball out there. About 80, 100 feet up in the air. Oh, lays down the bunt. That's going to roll foul for strike one. Kind of rolled fair. She might have beat that one out. That wasn't a bad bunt at all, right down the line. They weren't expecting that. Runner at second. 1-1 one, one count. Foul ball. Foul ball on the bunt attempt there. Mia finds herself behind the count now. One ball and two strikes. One Chad ball. Notgrass, what's up, my man? Welcome to the stream, sir. Punch that like button for me. Ball. And that'll be outside for ball two, even up the count now. Two and two. We will be playing back-to-back -back games for these full first two pool games. 
Dex IG Lopez will be up next for the second game. So don't go nowhere. After this game, we'll be right back in about 10 minutes, maybe less. And over to the right side, foul ball. Ball sounds a little mushy to me. I noticed that last inning on a ball. I don't know if they got a mushy one mixed in with them. Or maybe she hit it off the handle. Who knows? All right, two balls, two strikes, no outs. Runner in scoring position at second, trying to bring Avery around. And it's gonna be a rip over to second base. That will move Avery to third, but she'll be thrown out at first for the first out. Next batter up, number five, Kendall Jones, sitting in the sixth spot. Has a runner in scoring position at third base with only one out. She can tie this game up with one swing, get it out in the grass. And pops it up behind us. Foul ball, strike one. Excuse me. That'll be down low for ball one. Bringing the count to one ball and one strike. Gonna pop her up over shortstop. Oh no, she drops the ball. And Kendall will be safe at first on the air. I have to scratch that down as the E6. Number 27 now hitting in the seventh spot, coming up in the box. Got one out on her, runners on the corners. Takes a ball down low, just right at the knees. Could have gone either way. I thought that was a pretty good pitch to hit. Oh, good pitch to hit. Pops her way up. That's going to go out to right center. She gets the catch, but she will get the RBI. Avery comes in for the tag on third, and they get on the board. All right, number seven, Trinity coming up in the box. Get in the eighth spot, got a runner at first, two outs on her. She'll take a first swing there, foul it off to the right side, strike one. Cozy getting the RBI on that last hit. That was a productive at bat. And a little mushy one over the left side, foul ball, strike two. Trinity getting behind the count now, 0 oh 2. And a little mushy one. Oh, that's going to land foul by about two feet. And she'll see another pitch. All right, no balls, two strikes, two outs, runner at first. Let's see what Trinity does here. And she'll take a ball down low, gets away from the catcher. That'll allow Kendall to move from first to second. One ball, two strikes. 
not know that that was the part of my walker from did you? Yeah. I thought it was the part before that. that well, she, she, she kind of had a hard time finding All right, Trinity grounds out to second base for the third out, but Buzz does get on the board. And they tie the game one to one going into the top of the third, bottom of the second inning. Bottom of the second inning. So one run. On one hit. One error on the heat side, one left on base. All right. Got some defensive changes. Number 21, Mia moving over to third base. Looks like Gabrielle will stay at shortstop and Trinity will stay at second. We got number five, Kendall, coming in at first base. And looks like defensive positions all remain the same as well as all the others. What's up, bro? What are you say, man? Was that you back there? Yeah, okay. I was waiting. I didn't know where the mic was. was and wasn't you. Yeah. Is it muted or no? No. It's not muted. No. I'm about to get back to work. <laughs> right on, right on. We'll be here all day. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, number 90 for Waco Heat hitting in the ninth spot. It's going to be your leadoff hitter here at the bottom of the third inning. Bottom of the second inning. Should be the top of the third. Okay, let's get this right. You think I've never done this before? All right, here we go. Top of the third, like I thought from the beginning. One ball, no strike. And that'll be high outside for ball two. There's one that finds his own, a swing and a miss, strike one. There's one right down the pipe, no look strike. Evens up the count, two and two. And now swing and a miss, strike three. Allison's fifth K of the game. Uh, correction, yep, fifth K. All right, doing pretty good out there. Next batter is going to be number 91, hitting in the 10 spot, heading to the bottom of the order for Waco Heat. Got one out on her, no runners on. No data interruption since the first inning. That makes me happy. Woo, tight inside. Gonna call a ball. And just on the outside bottom edge there for ball two. 45 pitches from Allison out there in the game thus far in the circle for Buzz NTX 2010. Rudy Lino, there he is, been waiting for you. 
Welcome to the stream, sir. Oh, tries to lay down a bond. That's going to be a foul ball right over the home plate for strike one. That was a good pitch. Swinging a miss, strike two, even up the count, two and two. Trying out a new device. I'll go ahead and give her a call out, Lacey. Thank you very much. She bought the team a Eclipse mount for the phone. So far, it's pretty cool. Keeps shade over the phone. Has a little fan on it if it gets too hot. I did have to do a little uh, modification because the phone does have a little transmitter that's got to go into the uh, USB-C so you can hear the play-by-play. -play. So that means the power cord comes from the bottom. Oh, going to pop her up. Out left center. Can somebody get a glove on it? No, that is going to drop. And that's going to drop for a single out there. Kind of misjudged that a little bit. Could have made the play. Next batter at the bottom of the lineup, number 93 in the 11th spot. Got a runner at first with one out. Looks like they may have some speed over there at first base. We'll see how their coaches play that. And he says she went on the bun attempt. That's going to drop for a strike one. Looks like the runner at first was looking. Kinda going to have to be on her toes here. Showing bunt. And that'll be outside for ball one. One ball, one strike. And it looks like the umpire is going to give Allison a warning talk. I did not see anything. Well, like I said, the catcher and the umpire is in my view. I couldn't see. I'd have to ask somebody on stream. I don't know if it was a look or... <laughs> it was a little bit outside. All right, you've seen it here, folks. And this blue takes nothing from nobody. <laughs> and it's going to be a little dribbler there, Mir. She's going to fire the first for the second out. And we will scratch that down for a 5-3 for the second out. Does move the runner to second. We will head to the top of the order for Waco Heat, number 12, coming in the box. She is 0 for 1. Struck out her first time up. She's got two outs on her with a runner at second in scoring position. And strike one down the pipe there, looking. Yeah, definitely don't want to get on the Blues bad side if you're a pitcher. And you'll start to miss the uh, close calls. Let's see if he doesn't take it personal. And I was swinging him in, strike two. Number 12 behind the count now, 0-2, runner at scoring position in second. Two outs. And strike three called looking, and that is strikeout number six for Allison. 55 pitches in the game thus far. 
We did see number 27 warming up out there in the outfield. Alrighty, heading into the bottom of the third inning. You'll see the lineup cards coming out on the screen right about now. Your leadoff hitter hitting in the ninth spot is going to be number 11, Laney. Followed up by number 80, Allison, hitting in the 10th spot. Last but not least, strong third baseman and a strong bat, number 16, Natalie, hitting in the 11th spot. Austin usually does have a certain lineup order, but sometimes in these pool games he likes to switch things out a little bit and uh, experiment, give girls a chance to get up in the, uh, the lineup. So what's going on today, chat? Our first game wasn't until 12, 15. Some teams that we know have already knocked out two games. It's weird playing this late in the day. I don't mind it, because I am not a morning person unless it's for softball, fishing, or hunting. But uh, how's everybody doing today? One good thing I do like about the eight o'clock games on Saturday is the traffic. If anybody knows, every highway in the Texas system is my Talladega. And that makes driving even better. My motto is when I'm driving, lead, follow, or get out of the way. So if ever been behind you, and you can see the colors of my eyes, I do apologize in advance, but you know, get behind me and draft, and let's get it on. Billy Beavers, welcome to the stream. All right, leadoff hitter hitting in the ninth spot, number 11, Laney. Game is tied one to one. We are in the bottom of the third inning. And a swing and a miss. Gets a little piece of it there, foul tip. Strike one. We got started at 12-18. These are 75-minute games. So we're about 50 minutes into the game. That'll be outside for ball one, bringing the count even one and one. She gets a piece of that one too. Foul tip. Strike two. Laney behind the count now. One ball, two strikes. I do like this blue though. He's got a good strike zone. He's very vocal with his calls. And he don't take nothing from nobody. Oh, gonna pop her up behind us. Out of play. And she'll stay alive to see another pitch. 35 pitches now for number 10 out there in the circle for Waco Heat. Blue needs some uh, softballs. He's out of them. And that'll be outside for ball two. Laney got the count even now, two and two. And outside, and Mulaney brings it back to a full count, three and two. Josh. And down in the dirt, and Laney comes back and draws the walk. And Buzz has a leadoff hitter now. All right, number 80, wearing the number 80 today. She'll be wearing another number tomorrow. She's hitting in the 10th spot. No outs, got a runner at first. She is known for her power, pretty good pitcher. Also got a strong bat to boot. Oh, wow. 
Just barely missing the zone. I don't know, that looked pretty good to me, but that was a pretty good changeup. But she got the ball call on it. Could have gone either way. But we'll take it. And that was a good take there. Ball too high. Laney stays put at first. She is fast. She wins a lot of uh, track at her school. Has broke some school records in track. She's got the legs. Not sure if uh, Hunt, uh, Austin wants to test out the catcher. And smashes it out to right field. And Laney's going to get back to first there. And they overthrow. Here comes the throw to second. Off throw. So it ends up moving the runner over. Now batting, number 16, Natalie Bohan. All right, number 16, Natalie coming up to the box, hitting in the 11th spot. She's got a runner in scoring position at second base with only one out. She can change the game here with one swing of the bat. And a strike one looking on the inside of the zone there. Good pitch. And that'll be high for ball one. Let me know in the chat, folks, uh, how's the sound quality? I do got a wind coming out from uh, left field third base dugout right directly towards me. I do got the, I think I've got a position just good enough to where it takes most of the wind crackle out. And there's a little dribbler over to second base. She can't handle it too well, and Natalie will be in there safe at first on an error. That moves Laney over to third. We're going to scratch her down for an E6. We will head to the top of the order. Number three, JC coming up in the box. 0 for 1 in the game. Grounded out to a 6-3 her last time up. She's only got one out on her. Runners on the corners. Nice little bunt there, but that's going to drop foul for strike one. 45 pitches now for number 10 out there in the circle for Waco Heat. Two, one, two. Let's see if she tries to bunt or slap on this one. Oh, nice one. That's going to drop. That's going to be a base hit. RBI. Left field doesn't handle it too well. Here comes Natalie over at the third, and they're going to get her a third, but that allows JC to move over to second. And they take the lead two to one now. All right, number 13, Gabrielle coming up in the box, hitting in the two spot, 0 for 1, popped out, two shortstop her last time up. Got a runner at second with some speed. Two outs on her. Very little win. Sounds good. Thank you, Jim Welch. I love the input from the chat. Oh, pops her up left side. That's going to be a high one. She's going to call it, and that will be the third out. But they do get enough bats on the ball. A couple of errors committed. Manages to get another run across the board and they take the lead two to one going into the top of the fourth inning. All right, number 80, Allison will come back out.
Check out our defensive position, see if there's any changes. I think this is the first time the girls have played a game, their first game of the weekend starting this late in the uh, afternoon. Maybe a little adjustment for them. They're used to being here at the crack of dawn, watching the sun come up, getting warmed up under the lights. Sometimes these things do have an effect on the body and the mind and the mental preparedness. Good throw. But you can't make excuses for any player, any team, at any time of the day, right? All right, here we go. Tierra, welcome to the stream. Thanks for hopping on and giving us a look-see. Lead-off hitter for Waco Heat, number 21, hitting in the two spot. One for one in the game. Reached on a single, beat out the throw. Here we go, top of the fourth inning, Buzz NTX 2010, leading by one, two to one over Waco Heat. And he's going to call a strike on the inside edge there. And we have hit the one hour mark. Game started at 12-18. These are 75 minute pool games, finish the inning, six run limit per half if you're just now joining us. And we have hit the hour mark. And that'll be high outside for ball one. Oh, he's going to get a piece of it there. And fouls it over to the right side. Strike two. One ball. And I swing and a miss, strike three, strike out number seven for number 80, Allison out there in the circle. All right, number 24 hitting in the third spot for Waco Heat coming up in the box, 0 for one, grounded out to a 1-3 her last time up back in the first inning. Got one out on her. Jason Humphrey, well that's a name I haven't seen often on the stream. Welcome to the stream, sir. I know you're a big baseball fan. Texas Rangers ain't doing too bad. They put a wall up on the Astros last night. And nice pitch on the end, outside edge there, bringing the count 0-2 now. And nice stop by Mia over there, gonna fall. Oh, and that is not taken by Kendall at first and she's going to go all the way to third and she'll reach on error. That was a good stop by Mia there. Fires over to first. Might have been a little low but that should have been grabbed. We're going to have to scratch down an E3 on that. All right, next batter up, number 92. One for one in the game. Had a single her last time up. Got a tying run over at third base. And she'll take ball down low. Step and drop.
And does she get a glove on it? Almost, but that will be a foul ball over to the right side. Bringing the count even one ball and one strike. Runner at third represents the tying run for Waco Heat. Only one out on number 92. And that's going to be a base hit there. Will she get it over to first for the out? But she does get the RBI, and that is a productive out at bat. Too much at the end of the barrel. All right, number 23 up in the box. No runners on, two outs on. And she takes strike one looking. And it ties the game two to two. Might get another inning out of it. 123. Down low for ball one. Bringing the count even. One and one. And number 27. I look up at number 27. Cosette over at first base now. Myra, welcome to the stream. Carter, she go! Yep, he's going to say she went. Strike two. Allison ahead in the count now. One ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Jenna staying on top of those. Good job on her part. And she'll foul it off to the right side. She'll see another pitch. And another foul ball to the right side. She's going to battle it out there. Five pitches on the at-bat thus far. Pitch number 70 for Allison out there in the circle for Buzz NTX. And that's going to go right to Trinity there. Should be a routine play over to first for the third out. And that will do it. Waco Heat ties it up on an earth over at first. We will head into the top of the first fifth inning, which will most likely be the last inning. And the game tied two to two. This will be the make it or break it inning. You'll see him coming across your screen here. Lead-off hitter is going to be number 10, Kenna, hitting in the third spot, followed up by number 6, Avery, followed up by number 21, Mia. Number 10, number All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the fifth inning, most likely the last inning of the game. Number 10, Kenna coming up with the box. She's 0 for 1. She popped out over to second base last time up in the first inning. Let's see if the Buzz NTX can put some on the board and try to secure this uh, win here. These pool games are seeded into bracket. 
and pops one up to the left side. That's going to drop foul ball for strike one. Oh, this is the fourth inning. Golly. <laughs> Bottom of the fourth. I appreciate y'all for not checking me. Amber, welcome to the stream. One ball, one strike on Kenna. This might be the last half of the inning, depending on uh, what Buzz does. 128. Got five minutes left in the game about. Oh, he's going to call a strike two on the bottom inside corner of that one. Kenna going to be behind the count now, one and two. Heading into the meat of the lineup. And she's going to fire one deep out of play to the left side. Foul ball. Outside for ball two, even up the count, two and two. And gonna pop her up behind us out of play for a foul ball. She'll stay alive. Six pitch of the at bat. Here comes number seven. Two balls, two balls, two strikes, no outs, no runners on. Ken the leadoff hitter of this bottom of the fourth inning. And rips one out to right field. That might drop. She doesn't come up close enough. Here she comes around second. He's going to push her all the way to third, and she'll be in there for a triple. Got to ride her down for a triple because the right oh fielder should have came up on it. It didn't touch her glove. And we will get a courtesy runner for Kenna. Number 13, Gabrielle, coming in over at third. She represents the go-ahead. Number six, Avery, stepping in the box. One for one, had a nice double her last time up back in the second inning. Got a runner at third with time running out. And that's in the gap, and that will drop for a base hit. That'll bring Gabrielle home from third. She'll be in there for a single RBI, breaking the tie. Now batting, number 21, Mia Corner. Number 21, Mia now coming up in the box, 0 for 1, grounded out to a 4-3, her last time up, as a runner at first, no outs. And she'll take a ball down low. If time does expire, that will be the win for Buzz. It has finished the inning. And we're at the bottom of the fourth with Buzz being the home team. And thought about swinging. Probably count is one and one now. See it through. We're no big hurry right here. Three, two, one. And right back to the pitcher over to first. They try to make the throw over to second. 
But Avery gets in there safely, so Mia moves Avery from first to second for the first out. Next batter, number five, Kendall, coming up the box. Number five, Kendall reached on air her last time up back in the second inning. Got a runner in scoring position at second. And she'll take strike one looking down the pipe there. Three, two, one. The time expired. Austin might be calling to take the pitches. Oh, she gets a piece of it there. And she falls behind 0 and 2. And oh, she tried to make a stab for it on a foul ball, but doesn't quite get enough arm on it. And she'll see another pitch. No balls, two strikes, one out. Runner scoring position over at second with Avery. Buzz leading three to two now. And I swing at a miss. Strike three. Little uh, mistake there on the throwback to the pitcher. That allows Avery to move from second to third. Number 27, Cosette, coming up in the box. 0 for 1, popped out to center field her last time up. She, she's got a runner at third with her bestie over there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and that is the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Time has expired as soon as Cozy comes up. Buzz wins three to two over Waco Heat. And that will do it for that game. Don't go nowhere. We'll be back here in about, I'd say, 10 minutes max. It's scheduled for 145. Thanks for watching. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Signing off.